everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, then welcome. My name is Rachel and I am all about making accounting and finance simple and stress-free for small business owners like you. Today, we are diving into a super useful tool within Xero accounting software that can really help you to keep track of your cash flow, boost your business. And that report is the aged receivables report. So first things first, what even is an aged receivables report? Report. It is a report within Xero that shows you the amounts outstanding that your customers owe to your small business. As well as showing you the amounts, it will also show you how long those have been outstanding. And this is a crucial tool for helping you to understand who owes you money and it can really help you gain confidence when it comes to your cash flow management. So let's take a deep dive into Xero. I'm gonna walk and talk you through the report and I'm gonna show you how we can use it to do some extra credit control to get paid faster, have good relationships with our customers and increase our cash flow. So let's get stuck into Xero. So first things first, we need to work out how to find this report in Xero. And so if you've watched my other tutorials on Xero, like how to cover 80% of Xero in under 30 minutes, or my tutorial on Xero in 2024, which I'll link up here, you will know that we can find the reports in the accounting section. And the best way to remember that is the business is the day-to-day -day running of our business and accounting is our accounting function. So within the accounting section, that's where we're gonna find reports. You'll note that down here, we've got accounting reports that we have starred and favorited. Um, and so if you would like your age receivables to appear in this list, just like I've got here, then you can tick it, but I'll just show you how to find it through the general reporting tab as well. So we've gone to accounting, we've gone to reports, and there's a whole section dedicated to age payables and age receivables. You can see that I've got mine starred, so I can turn it on and off like this if I want it to appear in my frequent reports section. And so I'm gonna click on the age receivables summary. Again, I'm showing you this data in a demo company. And so zero will default to the end of the month, which is great. But again, if you wanted to look at it retrospectively, you can too, but the best way to view this information is up to today's date. So I'm gonna to select today as the date and I'm gonna update the report. You'll see here we've got a breakdown of all of our customers and you can see that we have got outstanding invoices which are now being categorized by how overdue they are. So we've got current, one month, two month, three month, older and total. And so as an accountant looking at this information, I can see that uh, there's a lot of invoices that sit in the month or less. That's what I would expect because that means you've got great customers who nearly always pay you early or on time if your payment terms are 30 days. But you can see here, we've got three little red flags. So City Limousines, they've, they've spent money with us recently and then we've got two overdue ones and then we've got another one here. And so I just really wanna help you understand why this report is super important. And so it's helping you to identify customers who are taking too long to pay. Maybe they are repeat offenders. We can see here there's two outstanding here. So it could be that they are repeat offenders who always pay late. Or maybe we've got some customers who literally just need a gentle reminder. They might have forgotten, they might have missed the first invoice, or they might have made a change to their financial systems that might not have made them pick up that that invoice was even due. So knowing this can really help you to follow up more effectively and make sure that you get paid on time. So while I'm in this report, I wanted to spend some time talking about how you can actually use this report to improve your small business. So the first thing that I want you to do is to actually follow up on overdue invoices. So I want you to build running this report into your financial wellbeing routine. I want you to be regularly checking the over 30 days onwards columns. These are your red flags. I want you to be reaching out to these customers with a very friendly reminder in your tone of voice. You can set up email templates to do that for you in Xero to talk to your customers about their outstanding invoices. The next thing that we're gonna do as small business owners when we're looking at this report is to review your credit terms. So it could be that when you're looking at this report, you are noticing a pattern with late payments. It could be time to review your credit terms and actually maybe have shorter or stricter payment periods and credit checks. Next up, we're talking about cash flow management. And so I mentioned at the beginning, this report has a direct impact on your cash flow. The more actively you are chasing the people who owe you money, the better your cash flow management is going 
going to be. So I want you to use this report to forecast your cash flow. So knowing when you are expecting payments can really help you to plan for things like expenses and investments a lot more accurately. And then finally, as a small business owner, the thing that I want you to do with this report is actually customer relationship management. So sometimes late payments are actually a sign of that customer being in trouble. And so this can actually be a really great opportunity to reach out, understand their situation and find a mutually beneficial solution to getting you paid. So there you have it. That was the age receivables report in Zero. So as you know, Zero is an incredibly powerful reporting tool that can help you stay on top of your invoicing and cash flow. That report specifically can do great things to improve the way you feel about your finances. So regularly reviewing this report can make a really big difference within your business and impact your business's financial health. If you found this video useful, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, which is the best way to support me as a creator and the best way to make sure that you are getting my tips on managing your business finances straight into your YouTube feed. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today and I hope to see you again very soon.